Well, hey friends, welcome back to What View Mountain. As you can see, we're back up at the mountain today. Uh, not a beautiful sunshiny day, it's warm though. Uh, little, little misty, a little foggy, bright and early in the morning here. Um, but uh, we've already been up and at them doing a little bit of work. So, what's the task at hand for today? The task today is we're gonna get these logs. So you remember we cleared this view behind us, fell all these trees, uh, and then we split them up. Uh, we measured them out and we kind of had a change of plans. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, enough of me rambling. Let's, uh, let's take a walk down the hill and uh, see what we're gonna do. Okay, so as you can see, we've done a little bit of work um, on these trees that we fell. We limbed them up a little bit and then we had to change the plans. Uh, last video we talked about taking some of these to the sawmill that Uncle Bill put us on and exchanging them for some um, board and batten. Slight change of plans. We're gonna, we've cut these to about 10 feet, four inches. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take them to the sawmill and give them to that guy, really for Uncle Bill. So Uncle Bill makes uh, oak swings red out of red oak uh, and he's got a shortage of red oak. So since Uncle Bill put us onto this, we're going to take these logs since we have some red oak he needs the red oak he's the one that introduced us to the guy to begin with we're going to take these 10 footers drop them off there for uncle bill so he has uh some red oak to make some more swings so the plan is we're going to try maggie first we've seen that before so we'll kind of fast forward that we'll, we'll do it again we'll see if we can drag maggie down here hook a chain on drag him up then we're going to load those logs onto the trailer using the winch and a system that the, the old fella at the, at the sawmill told me about. So we're gonna try that. Uh, if I can't get Maggie to drag him up the hill, then we're gonna, I've, I've improvised a, a jerry rigging system with a pulley and some stuff to see if we can get these logs up the hill. So uh, sit back, relax, grab yourself something to drink. It'll probably be music from here on out for a little while. And uh, let's see what we can get done today. Let's get to busy. Guess we found Maggie's limit. Like I said, this is only 10 feet, but I think this is about 18, 24 inches across. Um, so a little heavier, pretty steep slope. I don't know, you can't really appreciate it, I don't think on, on the film uh, or on the, on the video, um, but it's steep. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some rearranging up top with the trailer and the truck. And uh, let's see if we can get something rigged up that we can drag this up the hill without using Maggie. Okay, so. As you can see, we got blue jean pulled up here right to the edge of the view. Um, we have our rough country 12,000 pound winch. Um, some confusion about 12,000 pound, whatever pound winch you have, right? If you run this line all the way out, you're not gonna be able to pull 12,000 pounds. Uh, most of them give you a little thing that tells you if you take out one wrap, you have 12,000 pounds. If we take out two wraps, we got 9,000 pounds, yada, yada. They're, they all tell you exactly what it is. So what we're doing is We've run this out and we're gonna walk down here and Rough Country has been a great winch. We've used it a lot and it's pulling blue jean up and down these hills uh, several times. So, a while back though, we had an incident where this cable snapped, the old cable snapped off at the connection point on the winch. So I kept this synthetic rope and a lot of people said, why keep this synthetic rope? Well, this is a perfect example of why because now we're gonna use this today to drag this log up this mountain. So let's walk down here and uh, we're gonna just tie a quick knot in this rope, hook our, uh, hook our hook to it, and then see if we can drag this up there. So let's walk down here and do that. Okay, so we're just gonna tie a quick clove hitch, whatever you, whatever you wanna call this knot. It's just a wrap around, cinch down on itself. Nothing fancy. I'm not worried about this synthetic rope getting ruined. So it's gonna just drag along the ground, um, the old synthetic rope, uh, and I'm not worried if that knot stays in there. I don't think it will. I think I'll be able to untie it. Um, now let's walk back up the hill, get 
the old blue jean fired up and uh, get the winch going. All right, so as you can see, we've been doing a little bit of work off camera, trying to figure this out. So those two logs on the side are ramps. We got this log that's going uh, horizontal right here, hooked to the chain, hooked to the winch, hooked to blue jean. So in theory, we're going to use the winch to pull this up, use those as ramps, and land it right on to the trailer. Of course, we've never done this before, so uh, I expect it's gonna be a disaster. However, you never know. Sometimes we get lucky and things go as planned. So uh, let's set the phone. Oh, by the way, all this is being done on the phone because someone, that's right, this guy forgot all the camera equipment. So we're gonna set the phone off to the side somewhere and uh, see if we can't capture this calamity. So let's go do this. going to use the ramps on the uh, on the trailer. We'll move blue jeans to the front, pull it over, up the ramps, and then we'll just manhandle the logs, spin them around once we get them up on there. Uh, I think we're probably just going to be able to lift these two up and flip them up on there. Uh, so we'll do that real quick and then we'll use Maggie. We'll change our vantage point. We're going to use Maggie to, uh, to drag those logs the rest of the way up the hill and get them lined up behind the trailer. Let's see if we can flip these logs.
after about an hour on the road, uh, a half a tank of gas, well diesel, and one quick stop for some caffeine, we're pulling up to Ray's. Uh, so now this could either go very well or very terrible. Um, because Ray's not the kind of guy that you just call on the phone uh, and coordinate this with. You just gotta show up and hope Ray's here. So uh, we're pulling in and it's not looking too good for the home team. I don't see Ray. This is Ray's spot. There's a truck pulling up over there. But, well, let's see what we can do here. We can uh, maybe give Ray a call and see if he's close by. Or call Uncle Bill and see if he knows a better way to get in touch with Ray. So, let's see what happens. Well, that wasn't too bad. We just called Ray. He said he'll come up, he'll unload the logs, but he doesn't do no cutting on Saturday. So, now we know. As a rule, he doesn't cut wood on Saturday. But he lives right down the road, so he'll come up and get these logs unloaded, and then uh, we'll go from there. We'll see if he's got our board and batten ready. Alright, so as you see, that went well. We got those boards dropped off. Um, and maybe, maybe not red oak. I don't know. I'm not an arborist. I don't know red oak from a white oak from a post oak. Didn't even know post oak was a thing. Um, but Ray said once he cuts into them, he'll see uh, if they're red oak, then he'll cut them all up for Bill. If they're post oaks, then I told him he can just use them for whatever he wants to and then uh, we'll work out some kind of deal on the board and batten once he gets that finished for us because he didn't get that finished for us either. So, uh, so yeah, now we just turn right back around and head straight back up to Waterview Mountain. So grab you something to drink, let's go for a ride. So there you go, friends. As you can see, we have an empty trailer. We're back at the mountain. Um, a good day's work, uh, hard work, absolutely hard work. Uh, dragging those, even, even though uh, the Maggie did a lot of the work and the uh, uh, the winch and blue Dean did a lot of the work it was still it's a lot of work I'm tired and thank goodness it's five o'clock so uh, you know what that means it's time for some drinkability so we'll see what happens right might cut into that if it's red oak absolutely worth the journey so we can just give those logs to Uncle Bill and he can keep on making swings with that red oak uh, and, and it'd be minimum cost for him if it turns out to be post oak or whatever he's talking about maybe we can negotiate some kind of deal where he can use that for whatever and then we get some kind of discount on the the uh, board and bat if not no big deal no sweat uh, if it turns out that it is post oak the rest of it's going to be staying right here and going to be used up in the fire pit so uh so we'll see so as always it's an absolute blessing for us to be able to do this for us to share our journey with you uh, we, we couldn't ask for anything more. So, thanks for coming with us. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon, especially if you're new, hit that bell icon. We try to post content uh, every week or two. Uh, we're slacking off a little, but that mini cabin is coming. I'm telling you, those folks have been with us. Like, I'm getting an itchy finger. The prices are coming down. We're, 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 it's right around the corner, I promise, okay? In the meantime, check out this video right over here. And as always, we'll be safe. We'll see you next time.